changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot in the field, and he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Well, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. To throw on second down is gone. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. The Lions on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Maverick, Maverick. They're going to try and throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Jags take over in terrific field position. Running out of the gun with ETN. A gain of three, second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Lawrence will throw. Out route, he finds his man, it's Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And the Jags are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line, knocking on the door. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Try to run with ETN. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Zay Jones from a yard out. And the Jaguars have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So the touchdown there and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work 
Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Hey, kill, kill. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Goff now looks to throw. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Hey, five. Horrible, horrible. On fourth down, Goff. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete to the porter. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with the first down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 17, 17. Here's gone. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Hey, Shell. Shell. To the air again, Goff, eluding the pressure right. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big... Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Picked off by Antonio Johnson. Down the sideline he goes. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, the way things have been going to this one, Charles, it was only a matter of time before this defense got involved and made a big play. And they do right there. Gosh, this lead is so large, CD, and we're only in the first half. Yeah, and I think that's the thing that's so amazing about it. You mentioned this large lead. How is this their first takeaway of the game? And what a spectacular one it was. Adding to the lead, showing the true dominance, and you're exactly right. We're still in the first half. McManus' point after is good, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. 
They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Brings up second and Tiger, Tiger. Turbo Now golf. Pass incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Five, five, four down. Go off throwing again. That's complete to Peoples Jones. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Whirling, whirling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. What's the final shot before break here. Goff. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Gregory Jr. And the Jags are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Jack Fox to kick off for the Lions. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Second half starts with a run by Etienne. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Another tote for ETN. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Now Lawrence on third and long. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. ETN up the middle. 
And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, ETN once more. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Count this money, then I count my blessings. Ooh. If I ever took an L, then it's still for lesson. Yeah. I'm the one, ain't no second guessing. Tried to dim my light, but my soul fluorescent. Wait, I tried to stay, but depressing. I even prayed to God, he ain't get the message. I'm living in the present, they gon' feel my presence. You can't dim my light, cause I'm luminescent. I rose from the ashes of the section. I seen a stranger in my own reflection. I point the in my own direction I would have did it for my own protection wow. keep debating about the go I'm the one like two three four five how you playing both sides high mate one million two million multi high mate eight figures eight million four times and I was underutilized the whole time it's rigged I guess they couldn't find a gold mine you dig the sheep sleep for me but the ghost co-sign I stopped thinking about the future cause we got no time the world changed damn World change. Yeah, I tried and failed. I see my best friends jail, but betrayal was the real pain. <laughs> Damn, the world changed. Look, I built walls around the house, 
networking. All these blood suckers, I just hope this networking. So searching, broken hearted with my chest hurting. But I was gifted with the best curses. I'm suffocating and my weight keep fluctuating. I showed love, how the f you hating? Damn. I'm the greatest, but that's unrelated. I either overstay my welcome or I'm underrated. Lately, I've been trying to wake sleepers. The fake woke and the gatekeepers. Too shallow for big fish. I stay deeper. We all gotta meet the same reaper. And the same maker, even if we never touch the same paper. Made enough for a surplus. Quotas. But the money brought us much closer. Used to be silent when they load up. Remember that? Now they sit around and upload them. I swear the world changed. I swear to God, the world changed. You should tell her that you love her now. You can't even remember that girl name. <laughs> I swear to God, the world changed. The world changed. so long i'm trying to get rough buffing my nails dog i'm trying to get buff shaping my beard up i'm liking the scruff <laughs> the hills because i'm living my life in the cut can't imagine that i'm gonna meet my wife in the club we gonna see though i feel like she more of a ceo or maybe she doing volunteer work in rio it's not like i need her but i would love to meet her another day another dollar another phone with another feature i don't play goalie but i'm my brother's keeper surrounded by family i'm not with other people they say I got my pop's demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang thriving together. Your boy's striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and holding comments. Cause I promise you I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. They ain't cut from the same thread like him. They don't study doing work to get ahead like him. They don't toss and turn in a bed like him. Cause they don't love it. 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 
They don't love I've it. been laid back so long, I'm trying to get turned. Searching my name, dog, that's how you get hurt. Being likable, I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I don't care how you feel about it. I do what I want it. I used to look up to the people that I'm moving in front of. It's not that crazy anymore. My city used to a come up. Bryce and Jack G. James is up next. The rest is up to me. These lames is upset. My peers get upstaged. The fans are upset. My city is upcoming. These people are oppressed. And I'm going to change things. I'm up at Carmichael's trying to get on the same page. I heard about the rapper that you claim was a mainstay. They had a nice run, but they never going to maintain because they don't love it. 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 Yeah. First off, my name told, but it's really Tobey Chuku. Got a BM that keep my season, that keep me fufu. Grew up wearing platinum fubu on the Southwest eating fufu. And the hammer that I keep don't come with nails. That nails, that nails, that Look, I ain't know who Bill Burr was until I met the man. Half my married to the street without a wedding band. I done peeped at all the these rappers won't be secondhand. My pop said I'd be broken, barely eat. I should have bet the man. Yeah, cause I'm way, way, way up. Long ways from the days I'd evade valet stores. Couldn't pay nowadays. All the cake I make us is enough to buy about a hundred trucks from Mercedes. I resage it, Chuku is it. Then my babies, label hippie trying to sway me. Sway me. Pay me. Wrote the game 2020, you can see it plainly. Can't nobody play me. I kill everything innately. At the helm of the mothership of drip, you can see me leaking. Be quiet, a real speaking. Voice of God, every word I jot, feel the spirit breathing. Best new artist, but the way I cook, very seasoned. Everything around me moving, like bachata. Usher told me do it my way, Frank Sinatra. Been a shotter, been locked in with my kata. Now I got them raving how I'm big on lines. Hello, Denata. Sheesh. Home God, I'm a dog, bro. Need a clergy collar, dodging fleas from you, dog. Adversely, I affect a demon with this God flow. Then put out my queen and yell out bravo. Yeah, we on baby number quattro. Yeah, my whole crib look like a art show. Yeah, pockets on avocado. I'm like a bird. Let me fly away. Nelly for top though. Bye. I can get it gone in a blink. Stack money. We can make a from the same money. He can make a call if he tweet. Black money. I can make a ball when I speak. Rap money. Brother used to hide a hundred hundred. The hashback partner used to bust a couple scams off of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands cause of that. We don't give a our Uncle Sam if you ask that. Where the money in the middle, middle. Boy, I just solved the riddle for this pound cake. Hey. Giggles, now I see fiddle all around me. Hey. Little, my head was on a swivel. swivel. He was pushing the rental. rental. Ain't it coincidental? Oh, he ain't really talking money. Who he talking to? Homie, hop it. Need a. They also. I can charge a band to get a glimpse of what I'm about to do. They be talking to every about what they ought to do. Yeah, I ain't tripping off of nothing. My name is Topic Discussion. Topic if I give them attention, they all would probably start blushing. So that power and hunt is the only thing that I'm crushing, crushing on. Bonafide, still on everything that I stepped on. I can on. get it gone in a blink. Stack money. We can make a from the sink. Money. He can make a call if he tweet. Black money. I can make a ball when I speak. Rap money. Brother used to hide a hundred hundred. The hashback partner used to bust a couple scams off of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands cause of that. We don't give a our Uncle Sam if you ask that. Where the cash at? They couldn't see me coming with binoculars. Even if they did tell me who the f was stopping us, the options keep popping up. Cops trying to lock us up. When it's out the picture, but it ain't no Diddy cropping this. Sorry, officer. I'm a hood philosopher. In the Open all the chakras up the block inside it and mold the lava. Check it, the mama does these rats is synonymous to climbers in Guatemala, bro. Bet your bottom dollar your favorite rapper to get devoured. Sign his death certificate quick. Like sign our in fact, spread it if he quit and save himself a problem. He ain't got a chance to solve him. Tell me, get him any gone in the blink. Stack money. We can make a from the same money. He can make a call if he tweet. Black money. I can make a ball when I speak. Rap money. Brother used to hide a hundred hundred. The hashback partner used to bust a couple scams off of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands cause of that. We don't give a 
My uncle Sam, if you ask that, where the cash at? Baby, I'm a go getter, go getter. Yeah, you better go figure, go figure. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Here now to get us started is Logan Cook, and we are underway here on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. carry for James Conner and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down oh that's a real nice job there by the defensive front they just engaged and held their ground but how about the guy who made the play we often talk about whether they take a good first step or not many times you just don't take any step just get your feet moving get your body going and then once he made the read he was able to make the play Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. An early 
test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run for it with counter. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game, and guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. A quick throw here out to Brown. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Murray again. This is Connor. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And it's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's second Connor up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down in inches. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. The slot man in motion right. In motion left comes Brown. Big A soldier, big A soldier. And the tight end goes in motion left. They're going for it. It's Murray being chased out left. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in second and one. No score after one on EA Sports. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll try the left side with ETN. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. On first down, right back to ETN. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, 
They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And let's go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Marco Wilson. And the Cardinals will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. He's going deep for Brown. He's got it with the 15. A huge play there for Arizona. 56 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Here's Murray, a quick throw complete. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. No game on the play. Third and goal. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Prater's kick is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So the defense able to force the interception and the offense working their way to field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides to be thrilled with that. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he'll get it up near the 35, right to 34 here. And get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Looking to throw Lawrence. Hard throw, incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard and audible here to get a new look a quick reaction as he catches it off the tip down the right sideline calvin ridley touchdown jaguar calvin ridley 66 yards. And the Jaguars' decision to go for it pays off with six points. A gutsy call. Fourth and short. They go for it. Look at the result. Yeah, now they did. They go for it. 
they threw for it because to me it was stacked up for a run situation strength on strength and they decided to put the ball in the air and what a result big time play extra point from McManus is good and that makes it a 7-3 lead after the touchdown Cook now to kick this one away From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. Yeah, especially since a touchdown. Oh, Connor loses it. And the Jags grab it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. going to move him around a bit. They'll throw this out wide and complete it to Ridley. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the Cardinal 16-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now Lawrence. This is caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. McManus's point after is good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Oh, what? Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. More the motion man right. They start with a give to Connor. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run, not a huge gain. What a nice chunk of yardage. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. An option handoff given to Counter. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. 
yard line. Murray now on first down. A short one here caught by McBride. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Second and 10. Yeah. Murray going to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And the Jaguars are going to take over at their own 41. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with Lawrence's arm, they may give him a shot to let this thing rip downfield. We'll see. To the 43, second down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And they'll go again with ETN. Sheds him off at the 45. And he's going to get his guys another first down. Back-to-back -back good runs to start the drive. This one, 13 yards. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a different intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On first and 10, it's ETN. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Draw play, ETN, and fights through one man. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Five Ridley, that's complete. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And the Jaguar first down. Hey, easy. Route, route. Route, route. Here we go. Straight ahead, ETN. 
stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. On second down, E.T. once more. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Three quarters in the books. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Off the option, here's ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. 70 yards rushing for him now to this point. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to...
Came a long way, came a long way, came a long way, been a long way.